Get ready to discover answers in the Bible with Bayless Conley. The Lord is able to give you much more. Now maybe you're sitting in here and you had a ministry and you've lost it. You've had influence that you've lost. Finances that you've lost. Relationships that you've lost. You know what? God knows about you. It's not a coincidence that you're sitting in here tonight. He's able to give you much more. Let us not limit him. Now, I'd like you to look with me, if you would, in Matthew chapter 6, please. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 25. We find Jesus using the same phrase, talking about the Father. Matthew chapter 6, 25. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you'll eat, what you'll drink, or about your body, what you'll put on. It's not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you, of little faith? Everyone say much more. Much more. Let's read on. Therefore do not worry, saying what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? For after all these things the Gentiles seek, literally they scrounge after these things. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about, the thing, uh, about its own thing. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble." We should confidently expect help from our Father when we are in need. Be that a need for protection, guidance, clothing, food, or any other earthly necessity. Jesus said the Father takes care of the flowers. He takes care of the birds. You're more valuable than a flower. You have more value than a bird. You know, in my backyard right now, I have these big planter boxes, and there's these beautiful azaleas in the planter boxes. And I don't know how many of you pay attention, but for those of you that do, that you have an eye to nature, you know something unusual is going on. The, uh, for the fishermen, it's wonderful. The water temperatures are warm, all the big pelagics are in. It's an unusual year. But if you'll notice, things are blooming and they're more fruitful than they normally are. This time of year, there's more wasps out, there's more bees out, there's more squirrels out. Something is happening in nature. And for people that look for those things, it's, it's obvious if you look around. And you know what? I've got these beautiful flowers, but they've gone crazy this year. And there's, there's honeybees everywhere all over them. And a lot of times I go sit in the front yard. When the sun gets a little low, it only touches our front yard. So I sit out there and read my Bible. And every time I go out there, I have a little friend, a little bird that comes and visits me. I was out in the front yard yesterday, just sitting in a pair of shorts, getting a little sun, reading my Bible, and my little friend comes. He just comes. There's a little place he perches right next to me. And as long as I'm there, he stays there. And uh, I talk to him a little bit. <laughs> he never says anything. But every time, every time I come into the yard, the little bird comes. I don't know where he comes from. I don't know where he goes, but as long as I stay, he stays, and he's always right next to me. He's been visiting me for a year. And you know what? I don't feed him, but he's as plump and happy as ever. <laughs> you know, my, my azaleas are just popping. They're, they're amazing. The, the little bird, God's... I, listen, I'm more valuable to God than a little gray bird with a black head. 
I'm more valuable to God than those beautiful azaleas in the backyard. He will give me much more because I am loved by him. And you know, he gives us two important principles in connection with the Father supplying our need. The first one is we must get our priorities right. In verse 32, you know, after all these things, the Gentiles seek, in other words, that's their priority and they scrounge after these things, but God knows you need them. He says, but seek first the kingdom and all these things will be added to you. Kingdom first, spiritual over the material. And I know for some people, they, you know, think, oh man, that's just too simplistic and they want to brush it aside as some childish notion, but that's a great mistake. Never underestimate the power of obedience to God. When you get your priorities in order, it unlocks and releases amazing blessings. In you.